You might have seen the picture of Michael Phelps during one of his races where he had all those weird red spots on his back and you're wondering what the hell is that? Does he have a weird skin disease? Is it some strange massage? What is going on here? Well in Chinese medicine it's actually called cupping or ba guan and cupping is one of the it's a very ancient method used even in ancient Egypt found in one of the, the papyrus, the scrolls and in this video I want to share what cupping is how it works, and what the colors and what the, the shapes and everything means with the cupping. So if you're wondering what cupping is, what does it do, how can it help, this video we're going to introduce you to that. Hey, I'm Alex Hine, author of the book Master of the Day, also a current doctoral student in traditional or classical Chinese medicine. Now I've included the first link in the description there. That's actually for a free download on five ways or five habits to add 10 years to your life with traditional or classical Chinese medicine. So if you click that link below and you add your email, you'll get a series of emails from me and the download there. So first of all, what is cupping? I'm gonna bust out a little set here. So this is not fire cupping. These are just silicone cups that you can use to apply on your own. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna apply one right on my forearm let's see maybe the inside so that you can see what it really looks like after it's been hanging out there a while so i'll apply two cups while we're here and at the end of the video we're going to take them off and i can show you exactly what that looks like all right so we've got these two silicone cups here that are not going to stay i'll use these small ones and we're gonna leave them there for the duration of the video. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the Sha looks like or what actually comes up and the color changes there. So what really is cupping? I mean, cupping was found historically even in ancient Egyptian manuscripts. I think one is called the Ebers Papyrus, probably spelled that and said it wrong, but 1500 BC. And since then it's been used all over Asia, in China, and in many Arabic speaking countries as well. There's also a variation called wet cupping, which is actually where you bleed the patient, sounds more barbaric than it really is, you cup over the area where you've pricked the patient, and it will actually draw blood out. And one of the ways you can use this is, for example, you can bleed a patient in varicose veins, and even though you wouldn't necessarily want to cup that, it's a similar theory where things have gotten stagnant and you can move them again. So what does cupping really do? Like why was Michael Phelps and why do all these athletes do cupping in the first place? One of the things, first of all, in terms of biomedical lingo and Chinese medicine lingo is that it moves stagnant blood or it just moves blood and lymph. It increases circulation to that area. In Chinese medicine, we call this moving qi and blood. And essentially, you can see based on what ends up coming up, how much, quote, stagnation there is there. Sometimes it comes out very pale colored, and sometimes it'll come out very, very dark, almost black. And what's interesting is sometimes there's all kinds of modeling that shows up. There can be even a wetness or a moisture in the cup. Overall, even though it also, we say it moves, for example, chi and blood, or it moves circulation and lymph, increases lymphatic flow, but at the same time, it also stimulates sensory nerves. So we tend to use it, for example, with pain disorders, digestive disorders, circulatory disorders, respiratory disorders, common colds and flus, and even atrophy disorders. Now, generally speaking, the darker the sha, the more stagnation or blockage we consider. So I'll show you guys a little bit of a cupping, a little mini cupping silicone set I have here. So you've got a couple different sizes of cups. You usually have ones about this big, even with uh, the fire cupping as well. And then you have, so this one I only have three sizes. So this will be the biggest, this will be the medium size, and then the small ones are currently on my arm. With the Sha, I'll do one here actually on my calf, so I can show you guys. So got a big one. The silicone ones are super simple because basically the only thing we're doing is just applying some suction. You can see it's pulling up a little, right? 
With fire cupping, it's much, much stronger because you're creating a vacuum there, and so you're getting a lot of suction and a lot of pull. These you pull off, you can see almost nothing, all right? But I'll show you what this looks like now. So, all right, you can see this one on the inside of my form, this one on the outside, and you can already see the discoloration here, right? And I'll take this one off so you can see there's some discoloration here. That would be maybe maybe light to moderate. Um, and obviously my form is kind of an unusual place to cup. You wouldn't normally cup that, but I wanted to show you guys because I don't have a, the person to demo here. And I'll show you what my other side looks like. This one is much redder. You guys can see that one. Much darker color. And so really... This one, see, this is already gone. This is really almost no sha. But even that, pretty big difference. Um, and it can get much, much darker than that. But this is kind of a, you know, a do-it-yourself, a DIY silicone cupping set. Um, honestly, it's pretty good. This is not too bad to do uh, some self-cupping. Um, but it's not going to be as strong as the fire cupping itself. Now, I hope that helps provide some insight on what cupping actually is and what we use it for. So Phelps and other athletes are probably using it because they have sore muscles and probably even tendon injuries. So they're probably it's an attempt to increase blood flow to that area. So that's a very simplistic way of using it. Again, if you want to stay in touch, you can grab that free download, the first link in the description, five habits to add 10 years to your life with traditional or classical Chinese medicine. You can also check out my last two videos right there and right there. <laughs>